You built all this alone. So many memories. It's not home anymore. Hey everyone, Martin here, one hour playthrough. Welcome back. And today, no quests. No, sir. We are going to farm modifications and uh, hopefully we get a few very rare ones. Uh, there's a good chance that we will get rare ones at least. Right, so right now we're at the old house of Rust. Here's this grave. We're going to visit this grave later when we return to the roleplay action. But for now, after we did in the one with the mountain the quest, and we defeated the minibus in the last episode. Um, this door opens up, and which provides access to this road. And there's um, right over here a metal flower, and we're going to get that. And then I'll show you where we're off to to do some serious farming. I created about I think I have 12 fast travel packs. I suggest if you want to do that. You definitely need them to so make them they're really easy to make just kill a bunch of animals and cost you a few shards and a bunch of sticks and well that's basically it so all right let's do it let's go over here get that flower first and then we're going to scale the mountain down Did you say that correctly scale the mountain down i don't know um <laughs> it's a little bit hazardous hazardous but um it should be fine should we maybe we get hurt a little bit but all right so let's get this flower first now what were you now doing you out here don't have to scale the mountain um there's the bonfire downstairs there is where we want to go and you could go all around here go down and all the way up but um you know we're so close and yes it can be done so I'll show you how. The best tip that I have is go slow. Go really, really slow. And if you do that, you should be fine. There you go. Try to get the highest point. It doesn't take much to fall to your death. So, yeah. There you go. And I think we should go over here, I believe, if I remember right. Yeah. There you go. I hope you don't get nausea, <laughs> me looking down like that. Or be afraid of heights. Like, I would never do this <laughs> in real life. Oh, is that the right way? Actually, sort of doubting it, but very good. There you go. Well, that saved you a big trip, right? Now that the bonfire is activated, we'll be able to fast travel over here. Now let's follow this road and we're going to head over here to the scrapper site. And there are two scrapper piles and these piles contain random loot. And there's a pretty good chance that you get a very rare item. And yeah, it's random which rare item very rare item you get you get rare items as well also from the scrappers and the way i'm going to kill them is with the bow i have equipped right now and um i'm going to hit the canister on the back of the scrapper which will make them explode because i shoot with these sparkle arrows what are they called again well they have a proper name anyway <laughs> all right so we're here and here it is right over there okay and always, there's one scrapper always here busy. And we have the scrapper pile over there. And there's another one opposite, opposite of the water. I can't really see it right now. What I can see is that we have green loot. So that's not the best. But since we can't see the other one, it's fine. And you want to shoot the back. And you see this arc. Um, this little... I'll do what I have electricity to. arc. If you see that... Oh, this is really good, actually. Like that one. It will definitely explode. 
and look at the XP that you get, 260 for the machine kill, 50 for the canister. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty good. All right, let's highlight him. And we're going, I'm going to do a few of them. And I understand that you might want to fast forward in the video because I want to show you after maybe 10 fast travels what you'll be able to get. Uh, another maybe good tip is that um, you need, of course, space. So let me craft some carry capacity here for the modifications. So level 2 and 3 is really easy to get. And the foxbone I don't have. But if I look here, I mean, I've got a lot of space, right? So we're going to fill it up. 30. Easy. Okay. But if you drop them on the ground, they won't despawn. Or uh, if they will, it takes a long time. And you can fast travel away. Uh, I've tested it with the bonfire close here. Uh, fast travel back and forth and it was no problem. All right, he comes running, I think. I think the best thing is to be patient. And the reason is that... Um, you don't want to waste the arrows. Now, this other guy gets stunned as well because of the explosion, which is really good. All right, got the arc as well. Nice. Wait for the explosion. There you go. Good to go. And leveling up goes really, really fast. 10 fast travels. That's a lot of XP. That's um, around... Oh, I went a little bit fast, but it was a green anyway, so... That won't be too good. But what do we have here? We have another green. I'll pick it up anyway. And fast travel back. And then we try it again. Get some tear. And here we got handling. But these green ones, this is not what you want. The blue ones... Um, Oh, look. And we get an extra bonus XP for the turkey. And another green one. It doesn't really happen that often. Twice the same result. Let's try it. Okay, so what do we get for blue? Damage, I hope. A resist uh, corruption weave. Pretty good, but I know you can get a very rare one of these. I had it a couple of times already. And unfortunately, we've got another green. So hopefully luck will Drop change sparkers as well, but what do we have? 25 resist freeze. Personally, I really, really like that because the crocodiles, uh, the, the, the jaw, I don't know what they're called, and these big birds, um, they use a lot of freeze damage and having protection like this is really, really good. And we've got the blue one this time. All right, a 21% damage coil. I like it. Easy. Nice. Let's quickly have a look at the other side of the water. Hopefully. Yeah, it's a rare, very rare. Nice. Alright, come on. Freeze weave. It's pretty nice. Boom. <laughs> he was about to shoot me. Alright, let's get right to it and end the video. We got a 39% corruption coil, which is li for later really handy. If you get this, keep it. And is it? It is. We end up with two very rares. That makes it up. A 38% freeze coil is really good. And 22% shock coil as well. And we're actually full, but that's okay. And I'm going to keep it. Um, so, let's see. Um, I need to make some space, so I'm going to throw one of these away. Uh, this one only costs 10, so I don't really care. Then we have a look at the total results. Right, guys, I uh, completed the 12 runs. 12 fast travels I did back and forth and sold all the green modifications and kept the blue ones and, of course, the purple ones. And this is what I ended up with. I'll just go slowly through them. Uh, this is nice. Got some really good farming going on here. And I got one blue equipped actually. So uh, yeah, well worth it. So I hope this video was helpful for you. And uh, 
If it was, leave me a comment and thumbs up the video, please. I really appreciate it. All right, till next time, where are we going to continue the storyline? For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.